The objective of this project is to develop a unique autonomous wound closure system to improve surgical care. A system of this type has to be able to recognize a wound, employ robotic and advanced magnetic technology to allow precise placement of 3D printed fixtures on each side of a wound in order to close it. The ability to accurately locate the edges of a wound in real time using artificial intelligence provides us with the precision in wound reconstruction. Current robotic surgical systems have a large footprint, making them impractical for use outside an operating theater. Also, these devices are far from autonomous and require an experienced surgeon to control the interaction of the robot with the patient. Our system can utilize emerging technologies to provide better precision in wound closure on the battlefield when experienced personnel is not available to deliver medical care. It can also be deployed in various other medical applications. There is a robust multidisciplinary team working on this project. It is a collaborative effort between the Dematis School of Engineering and Applied Science at Hofstra University and the Smith Institute for Urology at Northville Health. So the underlying motivation for this research is to improve medical care, improve surgical care for everybody. Right now, a lot of the robotic devices being developed, they have a person sort of operating a marionette, like a puppet. And it's only as good as the surgeon who's operating. We want to essentially get the surgeon out of the picture and just have the device itself have enough intelligence to be able to do the procedure. There aren't any other systems that are tackling this problem as we are. We are unique in that this is completely automated. We've got several patents in process that will work between the university and Northwell Health. We're gonna be able to develop and be the leaders in this space. AI is very important in emerging technology, particularly for medical applications. We need to be able to recognize wounds. The system's gonna scan looking for the wound and it's going to help discover where the edges of the wound are in order to place the fixtures that actually do the closing. We have to know with a fair degree of precision where those edges are and it needs some assistance. So that's provided by AI, whether it's machine learning or just artificial intelligence. But it's done in concert with edge detection techniques that already exist, plus some advances we've made as well. We're lucky to be able to take advantage of some of the new laser measurement technology, and that's a field that's evolving very rapidly. And we think that we'll be able to deal with even more complex issues, for example, being able to do closure within the body itself at some point. So that's a challenge that we're looking forward to. This process, right where we are right now, is pretty far along. So it's just a matter of getting it in a form where it is portable and developing a set of fixtures that will apply it to a variety of different kinds of wounds. One of the advantages that we have being here at Hofstra working on a project like this is we do have a collaboration with Northwell. And that's, of course, very important because we are dealing with surgeons. So they provide a lot of insight as to what our best approach would be and what the primary considerations they would have in, in relying on a system which is completely autonomous. There's several motivations, one of which is consistency in suturing, which is not currently available. Different doctors have different techniques, so there's no uniformity. Secondly, we want to get a better cosmetic effect. And thirdly, there will be cases where you want to do closures where there are not trained personnel available to do that. For example, in battlefield environments or third world countries, places like that. There's lots of military applications if you're actually in a war theater where triage has to be done and you can't get immediate medical care. This is an important thing that we're doing and has long-standing or far-reaching implications. 